Hey guys and welcome back to another video and this one here is about the Akintosh mini series if you are having problems with your computer uh, with Yosemite freezing then probably this video is interesting for you and if it's interesting for you <laughs> keep watching and probably you will have a solution So welcome back after the intro. Uh, as I was saying, the after the Yosemite install, which was everything straightforward, let me add this before I forget. I did install with only four gigabytes of RAM, no USB peripherals attached. Not sorry, not four gigabytes of RAM. One slot, eight gigabytes of RAM, no USB uh, attachments, no printers, no drives, no nothing, nothing. Everything unplugged, just so I wouldn't run in any problem then I didn't figure it out so I did install with the GTX 760 on um, if you have other graphic cards uh, you might want to try to install with the integrated GPU uh, but after that uh, I did place my 32 gigabytes of RAM everything unplugged and I start to have a freeze here and there and I was saying well uh, still not for me the Akintosh but I did find a small uh, workaround there are two things that um, can solve this one of them uh, was easy and I'm going to show you here which will solve two problems the other one I just found uh, a few days later and I'm going to show you as well but let's go by parts let's go to the screen so if you watched my previous video um, I did talk about the let me open here uh, where I have that downloads here okay so you're gonna need this tool to resolve uh, the first uh, issue okay uh, so as I was saying uh, on the previous video where I did talk about the sound fix after sleep if you apply this fix it will fix your freezes and it will fix the sound after waking up your computer well disappearing the sound so and then there's another uh, another thing that I would like to mention that did froze my system as well but first let's go to this one so this one as I explained the, on the other video and I will explain here because um, you might have not watched the other one and uh, let's go to finder and Roberto's uh, Yosemites and extra so you have this folder here with uh, very important files these two but for this particular one uh, you will go on, you will, are going to open uh, this one here so this one has some other info which you enable when you install Unibeast and when you use uh, Unibeast so what I would suggest is make a copy of these two files uh, save them somewhere safe if your system is running fine and you're just having those occasional freezes save these files and then what you want to do is use the chameleon uh, wizard software you can download it just search around and download it uh, and you want to open your file which is this one here smbus plist uh, which I already have open here and then you want to edit and select the model very similar to your uh, particular iMac so if you want more details about this just go back one video uh, and you will have uh, because I don't want to make this video very long you will have the solution for this and your system will stop freezing uh, mine is uh, working for about a week and a half almost 24 hours because when I go to sleep uh, as I said this in the previous video when I go to sleep I place here six or seven or eight or ten projects in After Effects um, on the render queue uh, rendering all night and then once it stops finish or stops finish sorry about that once it stops rendering uh, it will go to sleep what I do is when I wake up just click on any of the keys and wakes up everything was rendered everything working fine so no freezes everything smoothly uh, what you will have to look for is a iMac 
uh, with the system similar to yours. So if you are on as well, select the model of, of iMac, which I did here. I selected the, um, the, the, the 14.2 iMac, which uses as well GPU. Um, Core i5 or Core i7. So this is very similar to mine. On my kids, uh, I'm gonna turn this once again over there. Let me point over there. It's a PC as well, not a real iMac. A real iMac is right over there in the middle, which is my wife's. Um, so you want to uh, simulate a similar spec to yours. Uh, the cause is when you install Unibeast and Multibeast, you will have a system that will say Mac Pro 3.1, I think it's that, and that will not work fine with your uh, usage. And if you search Google, you will find a lot of talk about freezes. This was the solution that I found best. Taking that out of the way, um, there is another thing, and let's close this. There is another thing that if you have an NVIDIA card, you probably do the same mistake as I did, which was install the NVIDIA CUDA drivers for Mac OS X. And that made my system uh, froze, and more constant than the initial froze. Um, it was having uh, a lot of freezes, freezes from five minutes, five minutes, and I said, oh, I, I did something here that I, I broke the system. This was about two days ago. Everything was running fine. Uh, I installed that, went to sleep the next day, turn on the computer and uh, freeze, freeze, freeze. I said, okay, my Akintosh is it's now not good, but it was stupid of me. And I thought, what did I install last? And I did install iStats menu, uh, just to see some benchmarks and some, some, some things. And I did install CUDA drivers to make a benchmark if it performed better or not. I didn't see any difference on, on the rendering times. Uh, so I thought it has to be queued the drivers. So what I did was, it is, it is uh, a shame that NVIDIA does not have an uninstall uh, tool for this. You have to, to find uh, some way and I did browse around to search. It was easy and I will show you what you will have to do in case you installed it. Uh, you will have to go to your drive and then go to uh, library and then you have to go to frameworks and in here you will find something that will say uh, CUDA drivers framework, something like that. And what you want to do is delete before it freezes again. <laughs> delete, reboot the system uh, one time or, or, or shut it down, it's better, shut it down. And then reboot it again and everything will be just fine. So this was the two causes uh, that I found. Uh, freezing my system and now it's working just uh, just great don't give up ah, and one more thing uh, you will have also to go to system preferences you will see something about here that will see we will show CUDA you just right click and then remove CUDA preferences from pane uh, but before remove the the framework because the framework will will, will give you the um, the error itself and will freeze your computer. I don't know why, I don't care why, to be honest, it just does. So I did uninstall it and then since then it's been working just uh, just fine. <laughs> That's it. So if this solved your problem, thumbs up, share it with anyone that, uh, that you might find useful for, for it. Uh, and this is it. Thanks for watching guys and bye bye.